What's up guys, I'm Joe Drake, happy Pride. I am so excited because we are live with the top four of RuPaul's Drag Race season 10, Aquaria, Cameron Michaels, Eureka O'Hara, and Asia O'Hara. Welcome guys. Woo! Hi. 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 Here we are, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so we have to talk about that reunion last week. Oh. What the actual bleep? No, haha, <laughs> not bleep. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what was it like watching it back? What was it like filming it? What are your thoughts? Well, for starters, they put us in some uncomfortable chairs for a long amount of time. <laughs> so even if we didn't have any drama on set, there was definitely, uh, we were definitely bound to get yeah. pissed off at something. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and drama in your tech. Kind yeah. Of drama in your tech. Very that. Yeah. Oh Cameron, thoughts? Oh, well, I got a nice little surprise at the end of the yeah. reunion that I did not expect. I mean, it was like a therapy session for it a sure lot of was. people. Yeah. It was emotional, it was heated. Yeah. Did you expect that it was going to be that way going in? I think we knew that it was going to be like that. Um, and then we had a few surprises and bumps along the way. But right. that was our opportunity to, you know, hash everything out and get everything out that, you know, we didn't get a chance to do on the show. Of course, yeah. yeah. Some Thoughts? people didn't make it that far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, for me, I mean, I just tried to stay chill, really. Um, I really enjoyed it, honestly, all the girls yeah. coming together. It's really fun that, like, we get to come together for that nice moment. Um, yeah. It was nice to be together. Uh, so there was a, part, a lot of it that was actually fun and really nice to be a part of, I thought. Yeah, um, and the drama is what it is, right? We're all drag queens at the end yeah. of the day, and we all got too much to say. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know? Asia? Um, it was definitely intense. It was intense. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> intense. Eureka, thoughts on Vixen uh, um, after you guys hashed it out? Yeah, I mean, my thoughts on Vixen always stay platonic, honestly, via yeah. her request. Um, I try not to have her name in my mouth, and I try to just kind of leave her at her own will, and I think that's kind of where we stand, you know? Yeah. I wish her the best of luck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now that we're a few days after the reunion, thoughts on Vixen leaving? Mm-hmm. I think all of us were a little disappointed. Well, yeah. I think I can speak. Um, we're a little disappointed just because um, we wish... Th the Vixen has a really great message. Um, whether some people understand it or not yeah. is, you know, what that is. Right. But I think we just wish that she would have had more of an opportunity to be able to try to say what she was trying to say. Yeah, um, yeah. Or at least, like, hang in there and yeah. just, like, try to... Uh, sit it, like you know, chill yeah, out. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, um, move on with the day. I think that as as our fandom grows, and obviously we are drag queens, and they love some good drama. It makes for great TV, right. and obviously um, the Vixen made amazing TV. So I just wish that she would have been able to get her message across better in the way she wanted, and yeah, would have been able to stay with us. Yeah. yeah. Asia, thoughts on hashing that with Miss Cracker? Um. You know, we the, the thing about the reunion is we've had months and months <laughs> since, right. you know, uh, the filming to mm -hmm. kind of hash it out. So it was like, you know, um, revisiting something that we had spoken about before. But of course. Uh, um, it was great to be able to do that in front of everyone. Yeah, definitely. And Cameron, did you feel a little ganged up? I did. You know, <laughs> I didn't expect it. And, you know, I, I'm not clearly not, not, not the most social of all the girls. Um, and like like Asia said, we've had like months and months and months to get to know each other after the show. Right. So I think just being being back in that environment, it's like you know this is six to seven, eight months later, and I think the girls kind of took it back to being in that environment. And I was really shy and reserved, and I've gotten to know a lot of them outside the show. So yeah, yeah I felt like it came out of nowhere. But you know, we're fine. We're good. I've talked to both of them, and uh, we're moving forward. So it's good. 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 I actually love what Asia said. I think it's so important to say. Um, the reunion literally is a giant revisit, and it brings up all these feelings that yeah. were either already talked about or hashed <laughs> right. out, or at least we tried to move past. Right. So it's like, oh, let's just bring up all these emotional <laughs> things. Let's talk about that one and, more time, yeah, yeah, shall yeah. we? So it's always, it makes for an interesting uh, day, Definitely. for sure. Right. Well, you guys filmed the show months ago. How hard was it to keep a secret that you guys were the top four? Mm. I don't or not hard at all? I don't think it was that hard. Well, no. I mean, there, we still have a lot of incentive to keep the secret. So right. That's true. We've right. got, we've a lot got a potential of it. like money and a crowd and some yeah. some free yeah. makeup right. uh, sitting almost in front of us. Uh -huh. So I think uh, that was enough uh, <laughs> persuasion <laughs> to shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> well, and girl, y'all know I love to talk, so it was real hard for me. Right? <laughs> Can we get never. Were you guys <laughs> able to talk to each other? 
Oh, yeah. We have, we have the internet secret. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. Well, we have, um, I don't know if it's okay for me to share, but we have a group message so, like, where the, the four, four of us of can yeah. chat. Just it. so that it's easier for us to communicate about a lot of events and stuff that we had to specifically right. do. Right. Yeah. Um, we also have a group chat with the whole cast, too, where oh, everyone nice. kind of stays connected. Yeah. yeah. Asia? <laughs> it, was, it was it was very easy for me. I come from a place where, um, like, people didn't even speculate that I was in the competition. So, um, like, when it aired, um, I don't know, there was never, like, oh, my God, how far did you make it? They were just like, great, you're going to be on television. Yeah, we can't wait course. to see. Well, and it's because Asia's so fierce where she's from. They're all like, well, clearly she made it to the end. <laughs> I mean, that's no, the truly. Yeah. She's, like, the iconic pageant queen ever. Yeah, and not to... Pretty much. Uh, make a cliche, but getting on the show is such an accomplishment in and of itself. Oh, absolutely! Yeah. So you're there mm -hmm. with these twelve incredible queens. Uh huh. Yeah. And and, and two duds. I'm <laughs> 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 oh. uh, sorry. Yeah, fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and two duds. Yeah, that Vanjie was a dud. She went nowhere. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Vanjie. So Vangie. did you guys have a favorite look that you did in the season? I would have to definitely say that. I think everyone's favorite look of mine was the feather gown. It's, like, oh, it's the one that act worthy. <laughs> Clearly, it's the one that cost me the most money. Yeah, and it just sucks because a lot of my good looks happen. We have no control over like when they happen oh, in the season. Yeah, right. Right. All of mine got pushed at the beginning, so it kind of looked like I like fell down the stairs towards the end of the show <laughs> until my finale right. gown. But the feather look was my favorite. Yeah, yeah I the, felt exactly the same. Oh, just about the whole running out thing. I felt like all my bigger stuff was the beginning of the season. Really? And then by the time it got to the end of the season, we only get so many bags and so many pounds per bag. Uh -huh. So, and I'm also bigger, and to make things couture, it's like a big garment. Yeah. Um, so I started running out of drag towards the end of the season. Really? I was like, I was grasping at straws to make it to challenges. I felt like. My favorite look you had was the Eureka at the end with the light. Bulb. Oh, thank you. Gorgeous. With nice capri length gown. <laughs> 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 Perfect. What yeah. was your favorite Aquaria of yours? I think my favorite was my my mermaid look. Uh, the little, like, oh, little that was good. That tail. was good. Yeah, my friend Kiss design or you know did all the drip pieces right. and um, it was just like a, a labor of love. And yeah. as she, uh, Eureka was saying, we could only have so many things in our suitcase, like yeah. as far as weight goes. Right. And that one was. Heavy. Girl, that was the tail. tail. Heavy girl. What? So I was like, if I'm that bringing this tail. tail, first of all, I better make it to this episode. <laughs> I better win this freaking one, right? Yeah. And on top of that, it better be worth it because I'm leaving some stuff behind yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, no, really? Because, bitch, I remember literally you were trying, you were setting up on the stairs trying to get that tail on. Oh, yeah. The, the, when RuPaul, hello, 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 walks down the stairs, I like, I had to, like, get on the stairs, have, like, Five handlers yeah. to try to snug me into yeah. it. But. I was like, "Why are you struggling, it girl? It. It's just yeah. like rubber, oh. right?" And she was like, "No, feel it." And I tried to pick it up. It was like at least twenty-five to thirty pounds. And then my tiny <laughs> little no muscle butt. Like, oh. Asia, I loved your good person, bad person. So good. That was so <sighs> good. You. Did you Thank have you. that planned out beforehand, or was that like an in-the-moment thing? Because I feel like you came up with that last minute, and it was so sickening. No, it right. was. It was, was it planned. Um, no, it wasn't planned. It was um, like I did the story first, and I was like, okay, well, what can I wear that represents yeah. those two parts of it? Right, so. yeah. Well, you had a lot of beautiful drag over there on your racks, bitch. I oh, yeah. Remember. I was I'm gonna like, go shopping. Look at all time. these rhinestones and feathers and shit. This bitch came, honey. <laughs> the Tweety Bird. My favorite, was, oh, I was gonna say the Tweety Bird. Tweety bird. My oh, favorite was... look you did, Asia, was literally had to be the dandelion for me. Thank it was you. so Ooh, iconic. Oh, I forgot about right. the dandelion. So iconic. We hated her that day when she walked around the corner and she oh, had the big old yeah. hat. It's like, ah, you bitch. Only hat. It was like, only fucking hat. Even if it was like not flawless, we were like, at least this person's gonna be big. And then it was flawless. Right. So good. So good. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about some of the queens that aren't here, right? Let's talk behind them. Sure, right right behind the sure yeah. All right, so let's go down the list. We're all gay. <laughs> of the queens from season 10 that aren't here, I'm the closest with? Money Exchange. Money Exchange? Um, I would say the ones that aren't here, I would say probably Cracker. Cracker? Yeah. Um, for me, probably Miss Vanjie or Cracker. Oh, wow. Or okay. Calorie. Probably top three. Sorry. And for me, Monet Exchange. Monet Exchange? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Monet's sure, good girl. Yeah. She's a good Love friend. Her. Okay. She's a good girl. Of the queens not here, I learned the most from. Oh, not here? Yep. Mm. Okay. Cracker. The Vixen. Go Vixen? Ahead. Sorry. The Vixen. <laughs> Why? I would say Cracker. Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, just all throughout the whole competition, there was a lot of me learning about myself, me learning about the world, me yeah. learning just like stuff, me learning about drag. Yeah. Um, and I think the Vixen was one of the people who like really got me in the right headspace to like yeah, grow. Sure. Yeah. Cameron. 
Cracker, you know, she taught me a few fun tricks on the show. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we had that episode, that iconic moment, and, you know, her and I knew it was coming, and it was something we had to prepare for, so. Yeah. Um, we, and we had to deal with that together, which we which we did. We were actually at um, at Roscoe's in Chicago the day that it was supposed to happen, but there was a break in the in the filming or okay. the airing of the episode. Right. Um, so we got to have a moment together, and it was really nice to do good, that. Good, good. Yeah. Eureka? Um, from anyone that's not here with us right now. Yeah. Um, for me, I think I learned a lot from Calorie Kardashian. Oh, wow. um, it was nice to see, like, it was almost like being around, like, a younger version of yourself, right? Right, right. Um, she was a little bit more fresh and drag than I am, so uh, being a little more seasoned, I learned a lot from her, like, seeing her energy and her excitement. It just, it reminded me again, like, why I started to do drag. So that's I felt, great. like, really close to Calorie yeah, randomly definitely. because of that. Yeah. And for me, it would be the Vixen. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Um, she, like, she, I think for a lot of us, was um, a constant reminder of what good could come out of the competition. There was a time when we were kind of all sitting outside and we were all, you know, beaten down and stressed and tired and depressed. And she walked over to us and she was like, you guys were on the top of the world. We should smile. Yeah, and so that's everybody great. Was like, yeah, oh, yeah, she yeah, literally right. would be like, we're so, all famous, girl. What yeah. are you mad about? <laughs> what are we bitching about? What are you mad about? Yeah. Yeah, she did that a few times. It was sweet. All right, yeah. so who deserves a shot at All Stars 4? The Vixen. I think the Vixen, I think Monet, I think, who else? Cracker. Cracker. Fangie. All of them. Dusty <laughs> Ray. You yeah, have yeah. They're all so cast. talented. Fierce yeah. cast. That was so great about watching it. You couldn't tell who would make the top four because everyone was such a star. Mm -hmm. It was just sort of process of elimination who played the competition the best. Yeah. Not that you guys don't deserve to be here, but you were surrounded by a lot of great yeah, people. Yeah, we were. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You're absolutely right. So, of the people not here, who would you grip the crown to? Girls not here? Mm -hmm. ah! None of the above. I mean, all of us are like, um, uh, very triggered right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, Miss Vanjie, I guess, right? Yeah. Miss yeah, Vanjie. Right, yeah. Miss Vanjie. She won the, she, she she won. Won. She won the season, girl. I couldn't go to right? answer. That's a good yeah. go-to. Yeah. Option E, Vanjie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, yeah and, and I would say her as well, just because you can see, like, the, the the premiere the premiere and the finale and all the looks that she's turning I'm like damn she, she is yeah she yeah. looks yeah. amazing yeah. And, she, she only, and she only got to show one look on the show and it wasn't even hers right it's because it was something she had to make she didn't get to show any of her drag on that season wow so it's like, yeah. yeah so how certain are we of the winner what can we expect from the finale oh <laughs> I don't know oh it's gosh not real, but I know someone's going. Someone's going to win. That is true. I, yeah. I, I'm hoping. Yeah, I hope. Yeah. I mean, RuPaul wins every season, girl. Look at her. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, she does, yeah. She's the true winner of every yeah. season. And aside from who's going to get the crown, what can we expect from the finale overall? A good show? Oh, it's going to be a great show. Sure. Fabulous gowns. Fabulous gowns. The girls came dressed to kill. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Like, it doesn't matter if you went home first or are staying until the final four. All these yeah. girls looked beyond yep. every so single girl if y'all yeah. were talking shit about their silly drag on the show <laughs> tune into the finale on right. june 28th yeah. this, that is gonna be the yeah. looks are you guys excited anxious for oh, Thursday excited. night um, it's all the feelings. Yeah. Right? And I mean, then none of them at all. It's like, yeah, I mean, I think I'm excited and anxious. For me, it feels like it's, I've waited so long yes, you know, to like, come mean, to a close. Yeah. Right, because it's already so um, long for everyone yeah. regularly. And then for you, you're like, yeah, it's like break. two and a half years later. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. But it's also kind of emotional for me. Yeah. I've been very emotional this week because I'm just like, wow, it's really like coming to its close. Right. Like, what's the next step? You know, right. uh, we all want to win, right? Desperately. So there's also like that that sets on your chest. And you're like, please, they're God, please, they're God. Yeah. But also at the same time, it's like um, you want to celebrate whoever does, even if right. you don't. Yeah. And it's just, it's crazy coming to a close, I it's think. It's crazy, yeah. Asia? We've been through a lot. Um, you know, it's it's exciting. Like, it's it's, just, it's been such a long road. Right. Mm -hmm. So to, like, know that it's finally, like, everybody can, after Thursday, take a deep breath and be like, <laughs> totally. okay, yeah. great. So that must exciting. be like a relief. Yeah but, yeah, but then come next Thursday, the we're going to be mad player. that there's not another episode. Yeah, so yeah. That's we much all will be mad there's not another episode. Well, thank you guys so much for coming. Coming. What's next for you guys after Thursday? A whole lot of gigs, I can, yeah. I can tell you. Yeah. Gig, 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 gig. Yeah. I know we are yeah. all touring it up in the next couple of months, so stay tuned yeah. to our websites. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you guys will be fabulous and link those below or Absolutely. something. Absolutely, right. links. But um, check that out. Yeah. I've got uh, a song coming out very, very, very soon. Oh, great. So, 
Keep um, an eye out for same. that too. Spotify uh, for iTunes. me, I have a song coming out, and then also I'm working on a one-woman show called PHAT, Pretty Hot and Tasty. Nice. Um, it's like a comedy, but also emotional experience, being a bigger person in the world, and how to find self-love. Um, and then ideally want to be on Saturday Night Live, so call me. Is that the goal? That's the goal. Call, hey, Lauren Michaels, call The him. goal. Come on, call Lauren. Her, call her. Asia? Um, as most people know, I'm working on a nonprofit organization that should be ready to go August 15th. Yeah, that's so, incredible. Uh, that's Congratulations. Yeah. That's awesome. And Cameron? Of course you would be. Um, yeah, of love course you. you would be. I think after my winning episode and then <laughs> the there you go and then after and then after the uh, final four episode, people are expecting me to do music. So I am working on that, but I am taking my time. Oh, we thought you were saying after me winning. This oh no, 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 no! Oh, after, oh, 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 after, after, after I win on Thursday, spoiler. <laughs> after my winning episode, after the share challenge and the final four, people expect me to do music, and I am yes. working on that. Yeah. I'm taking my time because I'm a perfectionist and I want it to be yes, good. So. Absolutely. You are. Just wait. It's yeah. coming. Well, it'll be worth it. Yeah, it'll be worth the worst. Congratulations to you all. You're all so lovely Thank and talented. You. So I wish you nothing but the best. Oh, what an honor. Love you guys. We love you. Thank awesome. you guys. This was one crazy ass episode of The View, you guys. <laughs>